All right, well, uh, he certainly gives a good speech, doesn't he? But uh, that was one of the more worn, derisive criticisms of Barack Obama. His critics acknowledging he does have a way with words, but little else. Now, my point is, as I was telling my friend Mark, if you do have a way with words, you really don't need a whole lot else because if you can move people with what you say, you can take them generally where you want to go. You can ask, oh, that fellow FDR or John Kennedy or Ronald Reagan. Because I think words matter, emotions matter, jazzing folks, inspiring folks. They all matter. Don't believe me? Well, ask Steve Farber. Steve is the leadership expert and author of Greater Than Yourself, The Ultimate Lesson of True Leadership. He says that a good leader really needs the wow factor as well as consistency. Explain what you mean by that, Steve. Well, Neil, you know, the wow factor, maybe not in the sense that we think of it of, of being dazzled, but I think what wows us nowadays is not just the ability to be eloquent, the ability to formulate an idea in a way that we can understand it, but it's got to be something that we, that our radar says is true. There's got to be some authenticity to it. And in this day and age, when we, when we see that, that congruence or the, or the coming together of eloquence and something that we, we perceive as being real, that's what wows us. And that's what inspires us to uh, to want to commit with our with our votes or in day-to-day in, in -day life at work. Well, I'll tell you, Steve, you hit on something here because the best bosses I've had and the best leaders I've seen have a way of getting excited. And, and I don't think that is a cosmetic kind of a deal. I mean, obviously, they have to have some smarts. You can't be all words and nothing else. But generally, I find those who are, are pretty gifted at this are gifted, period. So, yeah, uh, but, I, but, you know, we also, we also have, you know, we have, a, we have a pretty good BS meter, right? We know when somebody is, is getting excited just because they, they know they're supposed to be that way or they're supposed to excite us. But, but what I think really genuinely excites us is when you get that, that hit, you get that feeling of, of inspiration and enthusiasm from the leader, but at the same time, you really believe that he or she believes it. Well, then and that's crucial. By the way, we, we are, you're right. Sure. We're watching. Uh, these are the throngs were outside of the studio when I was uh, on the air last night. They were eager to see me. So this is from last night. <laughs> Actually, it's not true at all. These are Barack Obama's uh, legions, including Oprah. Um, <laughs> but Steve, uh, it, it, people are going to glean from this now. I've got to be a rock star to be a leader. If I want to be a good CEO, I want to be a good presidential candidate. I have to put words and phrases and inspiration together like Barack Obama. Is there danger of overdoing that yeah I think so and you know it depends on what context we're talking about leadership uh, most of us experience leadership when we get up and go to work every day and these aren't people that are trying to get elected I mean there are there are bosses or the people that we work for and and it's you know it's really about is this person real or not and you and I have both seen people that are very eloquent can stand up on a table and have no problems giving a speech and they don't inspire anybody because very everybody knows point. they're full of it yeah. and the other side of the coin is you know I've known lots of people as I'm sure your viewers, viewers have who are soft-spoken quiet maybe even introverted that generate tremendous energy because people perceive the deep level of real passion and conviction for whatever the cause is that they stand for uh, well, I always like that. You got to be real or at least fake it. Um, Steve, thank you very, very much. Steve Farber. My pleasure. All nice right. Well, him. he will kill us, tax us, destroy us. A famous capitalist responding to the. Uh,